Welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of art from the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each weekday at 10 a.m., a staff member or volunteer will share an object from the collection and post some questions for discussion. Check back each weekday at 10 a.m. for a new look and a new conversation. Hi, I'm Carrie Atkins Maris, Associate Director for Community Engagement at the Cincinnati Art Museum. Today, I'm going to share a print with you by Theodore Rozak called Staten Island. We're going to look at some of his other artwork and influences and also talk a little bit about his lithography method and innovation. So Theodore Rozak was born in 1907 in Poland and then immigrated to the United States at the age of two. He went on to study art in a variety of places and was really interested in the Bauhaus movement. This print would have been done in 1934 when he was in New York City and working for the Work Progress Administration during the Depression. Rozak was better known as a sculptor than a printmaker, and here's an example of his sculpture. But he went on to study printmaking and was actually one of America's few lithographic master printers. Rozak worked in an experimental style for this, and he made 20 impressions of each separate color study. The ink extending to the edges, the smudges of color and fingerprint, which was printed in two plates of scrap zinc. The artist applied the color accents later using stencils. You can see a few other iterations of this print here. And then also you can see the oil painting that inspired this print here. During the 1930s, Rozak was heavily influenced and fascinated by nautical instruments. And you can see that influence here along with an absence of human presence, which indicates a sort of struggle for the human to find his place in the world. For a Cincinnati influence on Rozak, we can look at Port Ivory, which produced ivory soap from 1907 until 1991, and was a huge influence and employer on Staten Island during the time that Rozak would have been working there. I hope you've enjoyed looking at Rozak's Staten Island print with me and going through some of his technique and his influences. I'll see you back here at Cam Look soon.